guys, welcome back to my channel. So I quickly wanted to say hi to the new subscribers that have stopped by and joined. And although you may not think it's much, any comments that you've left, I definitely read them and appreciate them. So thanks for that. And if you are new, I'm Erin. Uh, I do beauty videos and from time to time I'll do fun videos with my husband, like challenge videos, things like that. So you can come to expect more beauty videos, uh, probably more challenges. Um, and probably some art videos in the near future because art is my hobby. I do consider myself an artist, so hopefully in the near future I'll have some of those videos up as well. If you haven't done so already, if you click down below on the red subscribe button, it'll help you not miss out on any videos that I have coming up. So in this video, I wanted to do something fun with makeup. New Year's Eve is coming in a, a few days, so I wanted to do something fun. It's definitely something heavier than I wear every day. I didn't know exactly what to expect as the end result, but going into it, I did want to use this light green metallic pigment that I had. So I ended up doing a halo effect on the eye. So if you want to find out step-by-step step how I did the makeup look, then just keep on watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, first going to prime the face and I went in with the NYX Angel Veil to cover up the large pores or fill in the large pores rather on my cheeks and t-zone area so I just want to cover uh, the cheeks I can't do much about the texture I got going on right now uh, because of mother nature so I just want to get that all nice and primed and then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia dip brow pomade in soft brown and I typically just lay a, a line um, on the bottom to kind of lay a foundation down for it and then I just kind of fill in the sparse areas and I go light handed in the front of the brow. I try not to make them look too fake. One of my brows has the hair going in a really different angle. So that one's a little frustrating. So I'm gonna go and highlight under the brow now. This is the Anastasia Highlighting Brow Duo and it has two ends, one shimmer, one's matte and it's in Camille. And I, I've used this thing for years. Um, they originally had a solid color of it and I've used it for about seven years. Now I'm gonna prime my eyes and I went in with the Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind and yeah, I'm not sure what color this is, but I just wanna prime my eyelids. I usually use a painterly paint pot by MAC, but mine is almost used up and getting kind of dry, so I'm working with something different this time. And I know it conceals really well, um, which is my goal. And then on the Ultimate Basics palette from Urban Decay, I went in with that lightest shade. It's a matte, really pale color just to set some of that concealer. And I don't go down all the way onto the mobile lid because I want the black base that I put on to uh, stick to it. And I don't want any powder down too far. So just blend that in. I'm going in with uh, a brown. This is um, Soft Brown by MAC. And I'm putting this in as a transition shade just to put some color in the crease right now. And I'm blending this out with the Sigma blending brush. I want to say this is the Sigma E25 brush. I'm not entirely sure because it's worn off, so I can't read it on the brush. But I'm pretty sure that's what this one is. So, um, yeah, I'll do the same thing to the other eye. And make sure it's blended nicely so it's nice and smooth. And then here I'm just testing out some options for my black base that I'm going to be putting on here shortly. Alright, so I went in with the fluffier Sigma brush just to blend out some of those edges a little bit more. No additional product was on there. Alright, now I think I decided to go with the Maybelline Eye Studio in Blackest Black. This is that cream gel liner. So I hadn't used it yet for a base yet, so that's why I made that face. And I know that this stuff um, is hard to get off, so I was 
gingerly getting through that. And I know you can't see it here, but I'm <laughs> trying to blend it out with my finger before it sets all the way. And I've found out that it's uh, really hard to blend, probably because I've had this container um, for too long and probably needed a new one. So it's a little bit drier, so it's harder to work with. I just added some more of the black because I want to go in here shortly with the metallic over the top. So I wanted something very black as the base. And a good old pinky finger is trying its hardest to blend this black out. Not sure how that's working. So I decided to go in with my blending brush and add some deeper browns. And basically, I just kept trying to build up the blend. A little darker brown. I believe this is a cocoa brown color. Or Swiss chocolate from MAC. Alright, so now I'm contemplating which pigments to use. I have a Makeup Geek Afterglow. I went with Earthy, the green color. And I was blown away at how shiny it was. Woo! Yeah, so I'm putting that in the center of my eye and I went in with Corrupt by Makeup Geek to darken up the outside of the halo on each side of the eyelid. And then I went in with some more brown to soften that and blend it some. A little bit of Fix Plus because I want to intensify that pigment. Ooh, look at that shine. All right, then I went in with the NYC Liquid Liner in black. And since I have hooded eyes, I wanted to stick closely to my lash line and then just put a slight wing on it. And then I'm tight lining. And we're going, did the other eye, and now we're going in with the foundation. I went with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless with a Real Techniques Expert Face Sponge. And the foundation I'm in is 115 Ivory. So again, it's the Matte and Poreless Foundation by Maybelline New York. And I went in a little bit heavy because, like I said, I had some breakouts because of Mother Nature and I was trying my best <laughs> to cover some of that up. So just blend, 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 dab, dab, dab. You know how this goes. And just make sure it's all blended in. Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I believe this is Fear Neutral. And then the MAC Prep and Prime to lighten up the area. Typically, I don't go in this heavy, but I felt like I needed to lighten up under my eyes a little bit more. And that Prep and Prime is in that rose color. I'm not sure what the exact name was. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is in A25 Light Plus. I've really enjoyed using that this year to set my powder. I used the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder for a very, very long time, uh, for three years now, and I still have it and I still like it, but I've enjoyed using this MAC one a little bit more. I don't find that it makes my eyes crease underneath, so I've been using that. I believe this is a, a NYX blush but I use it as a contour because I'm pale and just going around my large forehead there we go then I'm going in with MAC Harmony to bronze up my face and I really like that shade for me anyway for a bronzer forehead and then we're gonna curl with the Shiomura eyelash curler Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then we're going in with Benefit Roller Lash. This is a sample size. 
and I really like it. I was going to go in with lashes, but as I explained earlier, the only lashes that I had didn't really work well with my um, hooded eyes in this look because I felt like they were too long and they covered up a lot of the green. So I decided to just go uh, with my own lashes. And then I'm using this blush by MAC, which is A82, and it's Pinch Me. So I'm just going in a light handed on that just to give a little flush to the cheeks. And then I went in with Hourglass Ambient Lighting and Mood Light. Hit the tip of the nose a little bit. Dab it on my Cupid's bow. And I'm trying to be mindful of the texture that I have going on right now. So didn't go too heavy with that one. Then I went in with the balm highlighter. This is just a really awesome highlighter. Dab it on the inner corners of the eyes to brighten the eyes up. And I like to use my finger with this one and just tap it into my skin. I don't like to go too heavy with this one because it's pretty intense already. Dab, dab, dab. And just want to make sure it's nice and even and subtle. And now we're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in clear just to brush down those eyebrows. And this is the eyebrow that gives me trouble. You can't tell from here, but the hairs want to grow down in the middle part of my eyebrow and it's frustrating. Okay, so now going back in with the blending brush, a Sigma blending brush and going under my eye with some of that soft brown from earlier. And then this is the MAC uh, Eye Colon Teddy and going back in with some Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek and some more roller lash on the bottom lashes. Then we're going to set it with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, my all-time favorite setting spray ever. This is like my fourth one, I think. Spray and choosing a lip color, not sure. We decided to go with MAC Brave which is very similar to my natural lip color. So I'm going to go in here and use my finger to kind of smudge it into my lips because that's how I like it looking. And I think we are almost done. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a happy new year.